We have coming to the cage is G Singh representing fourth dimension. Best fight is in the 92 kilogram division, and the crowd is going wild. Now I'm a, I'm a big fan of the heavier weight divisions. So much more like you get knockout. Here we have Joe Anderson taking on Ajeev Singh in this 92 kilogram end class fight. Ajeev Singh is fired up for this one, but we know he's going to have his hands full. We've seen Joe Anderson fight before. He's a K Star legacy and he is a knockout machine. Absolutely fantastic fighter. I had the pleasure of seeing him in the past. He's got a Da Vinci tattoo as well, that's also pretty cool. But. This is the fight everyone here has been talking about. These two monsters taking each other on in the K-Star cage. Chief Singh versus Joe Anderson, fourth dimension versus K Star. We've got Singh in the black shorts and Anderson in the blue and yellow. Here we go. K Star Legacy versus Fourth Dimension. Singh versus Anderson. We know that Anderson's got knockout power. What should we see from Singh? Oh, Singh with a combination early. Nice catch by Singh and a trip. Anderson straight back to his feet. Nice kick from uh, Singh. Anderson being very strategic, mixing his levels with his jab and strikes. Showing good variety. low kicks Singh coming high Singh with a slight advantage in the range but not using it at the moment both fighters staying in the pocket and swinging Singh landed big oh Anderson with the slip Singh looking a little bit heavier on his feet now. Anderson kind of settling in almost. It looks a bit slow at the start of the fight. Now looks a bit more comfortable. Getting a read of the timing, still light on his feet. What a first round of figuring each other out, making little modifications, little changes. There's something, there's something in the air when the big guys get in the cage. The electric atmosphere. Yeah. There's so much power on every shot being exerted. But that was very interesting that first round. We saw Anderson, he came out almost a slow start from him, especially from what I've seen of him before. And then settled in. You can see he started bouncing on his feet, became a little bit lighter. Whereas Singh, he started off the round a little bit heavy on his feet and he finished off the round a little bit heavy on his feet. And He's very committed to his strikes, he's trying to get a lot of power and everything. But the one thing we're not seeing from him is him using his range advantage. And it's difficult because this is a, a relatively small cage. But you've got to try and keep him away. Use that teep, use that long shot, keep him right on the end of your jab scene. Uh, 
Anderson's looking for a counter shot now. Picking much better, moving a little bit lighter. Singh looking tentative, eats a calf kick. Oh, Anderson looking for the trip. Singh lands a right, and another one, and another one. Singh landed two or three brilliant rights there, but just because the range was just a little bit too far away to get a lot on it. Anderson pressing forward. We know he likes a knockout. Oh, Singh looking for a knee up the middle. Oh, Singh with another right. Anderson looking for the trip, missed. So the straight right of Singh has been money so far. Singh acknowledged the power in Anderson's leg kick. Oh, nice catch and trip. Anderson ripping the body with a left hook. Much closer around that one. Very interesting. Anderson was moving very well. Um, nice variety of technique, but it was Singh's right hand. It was two or three right hands in a row that landed, and another right hand towards the end of the round that landed. And there are the shots. They're going to be counting heavy in the judges' eyes. But also, it's Thai boxing. You know, the thing about judging Thai boxing. It's not quite the same as how they judge boxing or MMA, where generally damage is the number one criteria. Of course, they're looking for damage, it's a combat sport. But in Thai boxing, they want to see variety, right? They want to see you use a lot of kicks and punches and elbows and knees and win the clinch and the trips. And you might think, oh, the trips, they don't really do a lot of damage, they just knock your opponent over. But in Thai boxing, they score quite heavily. If you can catch that kick, trip them, you know, knock them onto the canvas, that is big in the judge's eyes. Here we go, Anderson versus Singh. Third round. This is still anybody's fight. Oh, Singh with a fantastic right hand. Another Superman punch from Singh, now he's moving. Anderson, unbelievably strong. Oh, inside kick had Sings tumbling. Singh looking a lot more comfortable in this third round. That's Superman again. Nice knees. Sing controlling the clinch. Great head positioning. Good control. Referee looking for a break. Nice kick by Singh. Singh unloaded, Anderson. Throw him back. Nice kick by Anderson. Anderson with the catch. Wow, I heard some predictions from the crowd here in Birmingham that Joe Anderson would get the knockout in the first or second round. That has not come to fruition. The toughness of Jeeves Singh has sung through. And now he is the one that's looking a little bit more dangerous in that third round. The Superman punch was coming through, doing, being very effective with that, doing some damage. And Joe Anderson, just then, now that he's a little bit fatigued, he's just slightly telegraphing everything, where in that second round, in the first round, it was a little bit smoother, a few more feints, a few more variety in the techniques. But we know the K-Star Legacy crew will just be giving him those little adjustments, those little changes, and that will make all the difference. Here we 
go. Anderson versus Singh. Now four. Nice, another Superman for Singh. He is a superhero. Looking for that big right. Oh, Anderson landed a big shot. Trying to come with a knee. Anderson looking invigorated by landing that shot. Come back to that composure that we saw earlier in the fight. Marching Singh down. Anderson's looking for a big one. Nice body kick. Corner of Anderson calling for body kicks. He's having a good success rate with it. Kick by Singh. Nice by Anderson. Nice by Singh. Trading body kicks. This is anyone's fight. Oh, nice lift and counter. Absolutely fantastic fight, this. Both men, so, so dangerous. And so well conditioned. That's what's incredible. You know, they're big guys. They're 92 kilogram fighters. And the output has been relentless. Neither man, particularly fatigued, going into this fifth and final round. And this is still anyone's fight. Absolutely incredible. And this is what you get. This is what you get with UK high boxing. Now, if you fancy trying Thai boxing, right, you don't have to step in the cage with Singh or Anderson. That would be too hard. That would be insane, right? But you can go and jump in a beginner's class. And in the beginner's class, there's no sparring, just technique, hit some pads, understanding, you know, this sport and the, the basics, the makeup of it, some of these techniques. Go try a class. If you want to try a class, go to kstarboxing.co.uk. You can sign up there for a free trial at any of their locations, in, uh, including Perry Bar, the City Centre, Sheldon, Quinton and Aldridge, and try a Thai boxing class. And I assure you, uh, the K-Star Academy, you will absolutely love it. And maybe, just maybe, Mr. Joe Anderson will be there. The legend. Joe looking to catch that shot. Single and good job of just spinning out of it every time Anderson catches fate the kick came with the Superman Anderson and a nice stiff jab nice knee by Singh this is anyone's fight going into the fifth and final round Anderson trying to desperately stay on his feet Oh, beautiful right hand by Singh. And another one. And another one! That one ripped the chin of Anderson. Anderson throwing big body kicks. Nice knees by Singh. Nice knee. Right hand by Anderson, down and through. Nice knee by Singh. Nice right by Singh. Anderson's face bloodied. He's been cut. Singh trying to pull him away. Incredible fight. That was the last round. Oh, it's the last one. Oh, 
Oh, it's on the K1 rules. There might be another round. A little bit of confusion from the officials how many rounds are supposed to be in this fight. I mean, certainly at the end of the fight, he was doing a lot more damage than Anderson, but that must have been incredibly close on the scorecards. Both these men fought their absolute hearts out. Joe Anderson's got nothing to be disappointed about. 